Sons and Daughters of God for January 30th. The reading is entitled, They Minister to the Heirs of Salvation. The scripture reading is taken from Hebrews 1 verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? God has angels whose whole work is to draw those who shall be heirs of salvation. The angels' work is to keep back the powers of Satan. The work of these heavenly beings is to prepare the inhabitants of this world to become children of God, pure, holy, undefiled. But men, though professing to be followers of Christ, do not place themselves in a position where they can understand this ministry, and thus the work of the heavenly messengers is made hard. The angels, who do always behold the face of the Father in heaven, would prefer to remain close by the side of God in the pure and holy atmosphere of heaven. But a work must be done in bringing this heavenly atmosphere to the souls who are tempted and tried, that Satan may not disqualify them for the place the Lord would have them fill in the heavenly courts. Principalities and powers in heavenly places combine with these angels in their ministration for those who shall be heirs of salvation. Angels who will do for you what you cannot do for yourselves are waiting for your cooperation. They are waiting for you to respond to the drawing of Christ. Draw nigh to God and to one another. By desire, by silent prayer, by resistance of satanic agencies, put your will on the side of God's will. While you have one desire to resist the devil and sincerely pray, deliver me from temptation, you will have strength for your day. It is the work of the heavenly angels to come close to the tried and tempted the suffering ones. They labor long and untiringly to save the souls for whom Christ has died. And when souls appreciate their advantages, appreciate the heavenly assistance sent them, respond to the Holy Spirit's working in their behalf, when they put their will on the side of Christ's will, angels bear the tidings heavenward and there is rejoicing among the heavenly host. Thank you for listening.